Next up, I'm going to do the uh, oil oil cap. Um, super simple. Literally, just take the old, old one, the stock one off, put this one on. Um, don't really need to explain to you how to install it. I don't think anybody. If you don't know how to take an oil cap off, uh, you probably shouldn't be modding your car yourself. So, um, nothing against you. That's totally fine. But um, I mean, I'll just obviously talk my way through the quality of it and what I think of it. Um, but, I mean, the first thing you want to do, well, I'm going to leave that on uh, until I get this out of the package. Uh, it's just because I don't want to leave that open while I'm uh, installing it. If anything is flying in there or whatever. So, um, let me get it out of the package here. Make sure I don't scratch it. Really nice piece, nice quality. It's made out of, I think, aluminum? I don't even know. Um, it's got some weight to it, so um, nice piece for sure. Uh, definitely will clean up. I hate it. There's so many yellow caps in here um, and it just kind of messes up the, I guess, the theme of the, of the engine bay. So um, all you want to do is, well, they, I know it, they include an O-ring. Um, so they have it, they have it specifically threaded. So when you do tighten this down, the parent logo will be facing forward. So it's, Ooh, that makes my OCD feel real good. Um, so that's that's nice. Usually when you have these parts, uh, they just put a logo on it and you tighten it and it'll be like upside down and facing the wrong way. So that's pretty cool. So I'm curious to see once I put it on, um, you know, actually does how, how it does line up. Um, okay, so good thing I look at the directions because when you take this off, there's actually an O-ring on here and you want to install that on the OEM cap. So um, for some reason, I didn't even think that to do that. So I'm glad I looked at the directions. Um, pretty simple. What you want to do is, um, just get a pick or a little screwdriver or something and try not to damage it, which I'm probably going to do. Hope not. I just want to work your way around there and pop it out. It is going to be a little oily, obviously, but you want to take this and transfer it onto the parent cap. Um, they did include a, a little O-ring, I guess, for um, depending on the year or something. If it's if it's not lining up right, it kind of helps line everything up. So just pop that on. Fits really nicely, actually. Um, nice and firm, nice and tight. That's how it looks. And here we go. Installing a parent oil cap on my STI. So... Okay, so I guess, I guess now I know what this O-ring is. Um, so if, let me see, let me get you closer. I just installed it, and as you can see, it's kind of crooked. So with the supplied O-ring here, um, I guess you put that on and it'll help uh, raise it up a little bit. So um, it actually will align right. So let me take it off and put this O-ring on. All right, so I got the cap installed. Um, <laughs> it's not really. I laugh when I say install it and you just screw it on. But I had to do some trial and error. Um, so basically on, I guess, the 15 plus STIs, I don't know how it is for pre previous generations, but um, you had to do some trial and error with the O-rings. Uh, they supply a very a really thin O-ring um, with, with the cap. And uh, you had to transfer the OEM um, uh, gasket here from the OEM cap to the parent. Uh, what I first tried was just the this uh, gasket here in the OEM position, which is, I'll, I'll explain, but um, there's a flat side on the other side, there's like a beveled beveled edge. And I, I installed it just how it was on the OEM cap, which is the flat side facing this side, uh, facing down and in, into the groove. Um, and then I realized it was going too far, so it wasn't lined straight. So I took that off and then, they, and then you put the, uh, the supplied O-ring on in the groove first, then you put the OEM gasket on. So what I did was I put the O-ring on and then I put this back on in the OEM positioning, which is the flat side down or up actually. Um, and that was, it wasn't, uh, it was, the angle was still facing. It wasn't, it was not in the right direction in other words. Um, so the final, the last one I tried was, um, it says in the instructions to do all three of these to see which works for your car. Uh, but I have the supplied O-ring on the bottom here, on the bottom in the in the groove, and then I have the flat side facing this way, 
and the beveled side facing the O-ring. Um, so in doing that, let's bring it over here. In doing that, when you screw it on, it gets nice and tight and it's facing forward. So um, everything looks very unison and per, you know it's not facing the wrong way. It's easy to read, it's right there, and it's really tight. Um, you know, this doesn't, it doesn't wobble or anything like that. And it looks much cleaner than that yellow, these, I gotta do something about these now, that was bothering me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that's a pretty straightforward, easy install. Um, so if anybody has any questions on, on the positioning of the O-ring, uh, I would, I would have showed you, uh, exactly what I was doing, but, um, I had to take the thing on and off a couple times to make sure it was the right way and I don't want to scratch anything, so... Um, if you have any uh, questions exactly with the positioning again, um, you know, just go back a little bit and kind of once it may be confusing to you uh, if you're not if you don't have it in front of you. But if you're installing it, you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, and I think I showed you uh, exactly what the gasket looked like on the on the cap before I installed it. So it should give you a good idea. But um, but yeah, I mean, it looks really nice, super high quality. Um, and uh, I'm really happy it fits the whole kind of black and white theme that I'm going, minus obviously the red and the yellow parts. But um, with all the parent parts, it's all going to be black and white. And uh, I think it looks really good. So I'm happy with that. If you guys have any questions about the uh, parent oil cap and how to install and the, the O-rings that you need and everything, uh, just leave it in the comments below. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.